Let's rock, baby. Let's rock, baby. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I am just so glad to finally actually be getting to this on, like, in the Let's Play. Because <laughs> I... Yeah. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Devil May Cry. Uh, originally on the PS2. I am going to be playing the Switch version for this Let's Play. I just... Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. This I'm is leg on, by the way. He's, he's too excited to say his name. I'm Alec. Yeah, hi. <laughs> and we also have uh, Yule here as well as a guest for this Let's Play. Go ahead and just introduce yourself. Uh, wait, what, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, let us know who I am. Yes. <laughs> Alright. So, well, you I'm just gonna like give a... Yeah. I'm gonna give a few disclaimers about this. I have beaten DMC1 countless times. I love this game a lot. This is honestly, next to five, this is my favorite DMC game in the series. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's Both. really weird. And I really yeah. never expected to have that opinion. But it I've is. I've seen the, the your love for this game grow, though. It's not that you. Yeah, it's you, so you weird. You could be in the early was like, we both thought three and five of that. Like, it, he slowly turned to, like, like, liking one a lot. Yeah, it's like, I will still agree that three is a better, like, three and five are much better games, but this is just still gonna be my favorite of the series. Like, one of my favorites, because of, is it because Is it because of, is it because of the still mix of the horror thing, or...? It's because of a lot of things, really, but at the end of the day... I think there's a fondness in my heart as well for this, but I think I Yeah, we'll probably uh, no, explain it all it's the further we go through the me, game. But... So... Yeah. yeah. Anyways, Since here's I have... the question... Here's the question that everybody is probably going to be asking it themselves. Are you going to play in Dante Mo's Die? No. <laughs> Perfect. Because well, we already streamed it. Alright, but before we really get into this and actually start the game up proper, it's asking this character change here, which is essentially costume change. The, o the first time it was introduced in the series, and you can either choose between the default, which is Dante, or his daddy Sparta. Or Sparta! I remember what? the name. I yeah. remember the name. <laughs> Which one do you think we should go with for the Let's Play? Only time in the game we can play as Sparta. I'm still yeah. bummed there's no uh, and Dante. Let's go. Right yeah. Here. Yeah, let's go with Dante. And like, I'm going to go on hard mode. Because I feel like doing something a bit different compared to everybody else. Two and by, the, and by ago, the way, I must say that I, I think Legon, Legon, Legon agrees with my opinion about this, but... That the most die is absolute fucking bullshit in fucking DMC1. Yeah, it's... Yeah. D Dante Must Die is the worst in DMC1 out of all the games next to DMC2, but DMC2 is already just a pile of garbage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's sad that the best thing about DMC2 is has nothing to do with it being the game. It's like, the best thing about DMC2 is that the costume is in another game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know? Which is sad, because I do agree that it is probably Dante's second best outfit that he's ever had. I do like his 5 one a lot, just because it's so casual, but like... Yeah. And here we it's go with the, mo with the most confusing deuterogonist slash love interest. Like... Oh, this is no love interest at all. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, sort of <laughs> alluded to, but it's weird because... Spoiler. It, because spoilers, so yeah. I can't seem to get any Whoa, Spoilers, so Dante's a virgin. And that's not going to change throughout the entire series. What do we have? Including oh, in the reboot. It's in the back. <laughs> yeah, you know, now you say that, it's also true. So, you must be the God, hand even the freaky do dorky goth girl <laughs> didn't want to fuck Dante. <laughs> I only take that's jobs. brutal, man. You can't get one of the... No, Never mind. I'm gonna leave and that and considering, <laughs> and considering how much action he gets a a in terms of... Because ago. he gets thrusted in a lot. Dark Knight, Sparta. <laughs> Mr. Dante. Yeah, that was a purpose. Where's Dante's gun so I can shoot myself? And if I each one we one haven't gotten to that part yet. Right now, yeah, all that we know... Like, since this is the first game in the series, and this is not actually where the story starts off proper, because DMC3 was made to be a prequel game and essentially enhance the stories of these as a result of that. 
This yeah. is well, very rough around the edges, but it also has its charm to go with that. Yeah, see, this is... I, and that's where I do agree with you, that I I think there's a funness for this game because it is... It's like Sonic Adventure. It's just, there's that charm to it. There's that level of, like, jankiness from early PS2 that's really good. Yeah. Also, I think the, uh... There's the guns. By the way, what the fuck? Yeah, why can't we do that in the game? As a child, I had powers. Well, I like that there is a actual, like, in-canon reason for why Dante's guns fire as fast as they do. You were the first one to know. And why they never patience. really need to be reloaded. Like so, I, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's just his own powers. He just has infinite yeah. ammo. So... But to finish okay, my so point... It seems that way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, But I'm not sure... Uh, yeah. Oh. I was, I was going to point Trish. out that this is basically one of the things that the that Dante is known for and they show it just as the first cutscene happens just how he basically can take any kind of punishment and actually come back still kicking yeah oh yeah He's apparently Trish I mean, has the same face as Dante's mother weird and there you go that's the spoiler <laughs> that's why oh. they have it in his that's, that's, well you said deuterogonus and I was like I, my knowledge of what that word means instantly yes. felt like a different spoiler but we'll get there when we get there because we streamed this game, but we didn't watch any of the cutscenes. Now we're watching all the dorky, goofy 2001 cutscenes. Yeah, and they're ridiculous. Also, PS2 FMVs. 2001, all right. No, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about PS2 FMVs in terms of getting them to look good, because they're all pre-rendered you know and it's not just the you know what models. That, you know what's sad about that is even, and that's why I like the PS2 final or PS1 Final Fantasy games. Is like I think there's a charm to it anyway. I there's a fondness for this. The oh, is there's a fondness for this time of games on, for me, to be honest. Let's go. And for games like, for example, Silent Hill 3, that basically learn how to do things in model, instead of just mess with the camera angles, that's actually fucking great because it allows for actually bigger resolutions. Also, we're go not going to see Trish play... again until Mission 8. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Go play, go play, go play, like, go play Silent Hill 3 with any 1080p mods on. And you'll always see the game, like, beautiful. No oh, well, well, first of the stupid fucking blue orb fragments that shouldn't be placed in stupid, oblivious places. Yeah, anyway, I, but, like, the weird thing about the blue orb fragments specifically is that I essentially have an encyclopedic knowledge of where each and every single one is and how to get it. So I will be doing yeah. 100%. Yeah. Which is not hard. <laughs> but, it's well, it's it not hard. difficult, it, it's it, just it tedious. Is, it is. It, it's tedious. Yeah, that's the word. And for me, personally, um, what was I going to say? Oh. To I did not know I could earlier, stand on that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm already discovering new things as soon as we turn on the camera. Shit. <laughs> uh, fuck your uncanny ability to do that. Um, <laughs> to finish my point from earlier, I think there is a charm to the fact that this game also has some ties to Resident Evil, and they never, ever really go with that in any other DMC game. It's It yeah. makes this one unique in the series, and I... Personally, because every time I play this game and think about this game, which, you know, it's not all the time, but, like, I constantly wonder what Resident Evil 4 would have been like if they followed through with this. Yeah, if they decided to have Tony Redgrave as the protagonist of Resident Evil 4 instead of Leon again. Which, yeah, we should probably get that out of the way uh, right now, you know. This was supposed to be Resident Evil 4 before it was, you know, properly canned and... Turned into one of the best games of all time, <laughs> but still. Yeah. Like, uh, like Resident Evil 4 in itself ended up being part of the rework grind, like, more times than you can fucking count, and this is just one of the earlier prototypes. I think yeah. this is the and, first of, like, four Resident Evil 4 prototypes, which is kind of ironic when you yeah. think of it that way. Which is weird, because I think of this game not as a, devil, a good Devil May Cry game, I think of this game as the last good classic Resident Evil game with a different name. With swords and honest. guns. Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's fucking awesome! <laughs> yeah, so... Dude, what was skimmed over in terms of the game oh. is... Also, go up to that window. I'm sorry to cut you off, but go up to that window. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're already leaving. Go up to that window. Because it, it, every time I boot this game up, it, there's nothing about it. It's just fascinating to me that that texture and that... Like, what is going on there? Yeah, why I, is the tree you know, moving so quickly in that window? Yeah, like, and look at, like, the, the 
Yeah, the fiery... Like, the, what a weird... They put time and effort into that for no reason at all. Anyway, continue your sediment. I'm sorry. I just, it's always I forgot what I was going to say window. anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. It's just that, that, that window is super fascinating to me every time I play the game. Yeah, I understand that. But now, you know, since DMC at its core is an action game, we're now introduced to one of our main enemies, the Marionettes. And these, these are, are the Red Variants, which are the strongest version. These are very annoying in the in like uh, Project Cross Zone, and Legon is already going to die. Dang. Nah. These enemies, no, but these enemies are annoying even in DMC One because sometimes it's just their hit timing is really stupid, and their hitboxes are really, really absurdly wacky. Yeah. And also, since we are in hard mode, we essentially meet the harder variant of them called Fetishes <laughs> right there also, instead of in Mission Ten. Wow, that's crazy. Also, want to point out something really uh, broken about DMC One in a way. Um, it's the only game where your style meter doesn't fucking rapidly decrease if you just juggle things with guns. Yeah, it just instantly disappears as okay. soon as you stop hitting things. Okay, can we talk yeah. about uh, can we talk about the weird transitions for the door opening? Like, I get that they they like I get that they couldn't just do the Resident Evil thing of placing the thing on the. Also, I already found enough blue orb fragments for another blue orb. <laughs> right. So, they, they, I, I get that they couldn't do the fucking transitions with the way they Are did Are you doing the... this now? Am you're I doing, doing Oh my now? god, you're doing this now. Uh, okay, okay, like I'm just... Okay. Oh, just... No. I, I forgot. It, it, it proxed a certain mission. I thought you were doing the shadow uh, side mission. Um... Yeah, no, I know no, I exactly forgot. what you're talking about, and that is not yeah. until way later. No, I just forgot that you can't... I thought you could do it early. Do not die. I died. <laughs> I've practiced this game a lot on normal mode, not on hard mode. And I am also... Are you playing on stream? <laughs> How did you die? I guess it's just that I'm a little bit rusty on this a little bit as well, specifically on hard mode, because let me yeah, go into the specifics of what because... hard mode changes compared to normal. So in normal mode, the enemies will have like, uh, let me put it this way, 100-100 on their health and attack stats. In hard mode, they still have 100 health on, 100 on their health stat, but their attack stat is raised by like 50 points to 150. So they hit a lot harder than they used to. Which is probably the one part I'm not used to yet. Right. Yeah. I have not hit, I I have not hit an S rank I... yet, but I probably will shortly enough. You did. When I actually Wait. find it. Uh, you mean style it in the combo leader? Yeah, you did. No, I'm pretty sure I only hit A so far. Either way, we will. No, I will I end up hitting an S rank at some point. So that you can see you what it's like. You did. You got a. You got style rank. You got it in this room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I, yeah, I can yeah. confirm. It was for a second though, and then you die. So. Yeah. I say that, but I never played. Well, no, I played five to complete the hard. It wasn't bad at all. I miss having the only one I think I've played the hard. Yeah. The That's thing the thing one part about starting a new game on this that I don't enjoy is that I don't have access to that all, ability. All DMC games, it's the rough part of starting a new game. Yeah. Is you're so used to your move set. Continue. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you. I mean, yeah. Really quick though, these are green orbs. Essentially, all they do is restore health. I already forgot what I was going what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I was. It's happened twice. I was making, I was making a commentary. I was making a commentary about the door transitions because they're kind of dumb and stupid and dumb, and I hate them. Oh yeah. I don't. Oh and, my god. Uh, I did not to mean die. to land Holy up shit. here, but okay. <laughs> Plane, save me! <laughs> Take me now! Take me to the end of the game! Oh yeah, finish his free fire, by the way. You know, like on. I really hope. I don't know how I feel about this already. Same here, honestly. I, love, I, I have I no idea how to feel about time. this. Like, my first showcase murdered. of this is me dying a lot. At the same yeah. time, though, it's probably due to the lack of abilities that I'm used so to having. We should, so, should we just call this thing a uh, Legon Must Die mode? <laughs> mm. Well, there's the first part name. 
Yeah. Leg on the thigh. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. I'm, I will, I'll be going. Away. By the way, I was looking through other part names we've come up with in the past because I never actually looked at them. Uh, I gotta love the I, I gotta love the old joke oh, wow. we came up with, which was the life and times of Tetsuya Nomura. Oh, that was classic. What the fuck? <laughs> He Stop is going dying. to he is <laughs> going to run over. out of the yellow orbs and that's yeah, going we're going to have to do this from the beginning. I get you. We got a game over. But yeah, if we're gonna talk about nostalgia shit, die, 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 I die, 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 die. Have something. What? The Sonic Heroes let's play. I still I yeah, still watch I was thinking about I was I was thinking about that the other week too. That was, that's, that was part of the reason why I was like, we should get Yule back in because I was like, that LP was so fun. <laughs> I think it's one of my favorite ones we've ever oh, done. Oh, is that the only reason why you wanted me back? You wanted to fucking troll me? <laughs> oh well, no, it's not our fault that you fucking sucked at the first thing and couldn't admit that the fucking special stages were bad and piece of shit. I mean, what? Also, I wow. I that the oh, stages were not bad. Uh, shut up, there. Uh, also, that was a fire breather. You get to see yeah, them that was a fetish. This early? Yeah. Because it's hard mode, we oh, get to see oh. them early. Yeah, that's. Oh yeah, insane. oh yeah. I forgot to mention that these marionettes also shoot projectiles and they and they fucking hurt. So. Yeah. Also, yeah. if I go into the pause menu, go into the file, you can actually see the specific attacks that all the enemies can do. Whenever you're hit by one, it will add a new hit by a new attack. It will add a new log into the thing there. It's a good spin on the best theory aspect of the game because you essentially don't have to scan to scan for enemies. You essentially have to get hit by them oh. to actually learn how to counterattack them. And he died again. I really <laughs> wish I had Stinger. <laughs> this is he so. He is going to weird. get a game over. That's why I don't. He that's is why going to like, get a game over. Well, that's also another problem with the DMC one in general that I'd like to talk about for just a second is that uh. It's easier to play the other games on a harder difficulty because you get the full moveset and you get the full life bar and you get the full everything. And this is the only game where you don't keep anything you get in the game, no matter what you do. If you decide to start a new game at the very least. And that's yeah, it. if you start a new game, you start a new game. It's, you are dead. It's, that's how it works. You can start yeah. again from a save point. Do you want to go to the load screen? No. <laughs> I'll just start a new game. No. Great. Maybe, yeah, I guess, maybe I guess this is... Well, I, I guess it's start second button. <laughs> I guess this is a cut now. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, it's not that difficult to get back to where we were before. It'll yeah, just take still a little cut. while. Cut! Cut! <laughs> it is a cut. Right Shameful one. first not... performance, I gotta say. Shame yeah. on you, man. Shame on you. Leg on, leg on must die, indeed. The way it encourages variety is, the way, is kind of wonky. Like... Like, uh, I it I only guess, really well, I mean, I starts agree. that trend in three, though. I will just go ahead and clarify that. Yeah, much. this game you don't have to. This is the only game that you don't have to like. You you don't have to do refreshing yeah. combos. You just have to keep attacking. Yeah. Yeah, like but you just spam stuff. Yeah. There's a little bit of that there, though. No, you go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, but for example, in in for example, in games like uh, DMC Five, like. Moves go stale so quickly that you basically are wondering, wait, what the fuck do you want me to do then? I I say that the worst game about it is four. I actually think yes. the worst yeah, game about it is definitely, four. Definitely, definitely. Because five, there's so many fucking moves in the game, there's no reason you should be struggling to get triple S. Yeah. Four, it just doesn't fucking want you to get to triple uh, like triple S at all. The game yeah. fucking struggles to get to S. And, and again, you don't, you have no fucking clue what you do, what you have to do to get there, which is fucking odd considering you know the rest of the game. The worst character. Well, is it's also their first attempt at Nero, I will say. Yeah, and it's it's because it was their first attempt at Nero. So, and because he only has one thing, I don't think they understood the idea of like, you know, all of it. That's why Dante is such a refresher because it's like. He gets all his shit back. Oh, that makes me want to bring up the point I was going to make. Where, uh... So here's my feeling about Devil May Cry in, in general. Why it makes me want to put down it. Is there are certain oh times where I'll be perfectionist -ing, per Trying to be a perfectionist in this game. And it, it gets to the point where it's like I start getting mad that I'll get hit. And it's like, that's when I need to put the game down. Um, like on Died Again. 
Um, yeah, but yeah, those shotguns run, have run, a brutal run, amount of damage, and I only have. Run, yeah. I only got one run, more run. blue orb than I'm supposed to have at this point. It's not even the guns that make me annoyed at this point. It's, or, it's not even the guns that are brutal. It's, it's they're fucking throwing their sides at you. That's like I can never handle that. Every time I play yeah. this game myself, I always get fucked by that. There is a sound yeah, also... for it, which does make it a bit easier to avoid, but at the same time, it's True, just but then when five, four or five of them are throwing them at once, you're kind of in a bad spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Uh... Like, 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 again, this is one of my problems with, with DMC in terms of the, like, the very first DMC, because it has a lot of instances of this shit. Like, it swarms you with enemies with access to projectiles and fucking... And fucking increased attack rates, and they don't seem to have any sort of pattern to it. They just decide to do whatever they fucking want, and you just have to avoid it. And of course, there's many instances because of the pre pre render camera angles where you actually get blindsided, and you know, that's just fair, isn't it? Also, it doesn't help that the red variants of these guys are the strongest variants, and they're they have so yeah. much health compared to the other ones. And they can just block whenever they want. It's just random chance whether they block or not. You can yeah. smell the Resident Evil, and you can you, and you can see why it, this formula didn't work in this game. game. I don't know why. The so worst really part of it is just the fixed camera angles more than anything else. Yeah. The music as well, dude. Like, like the music sometimes yeah. goes to like it, it, like, it has this great it yeah. yeah. And and it's not a bad thing, by the way. For example, Dead Rising also had this somber ambience to it. Even though it's even though it's sitting and right, filling in, I got a wall. I can it got completely things. fucking and it got completely off the walls in Dead Rising 2 off the record. But for example, in Dead Rising 1, it was basically just a Resident Evil game as well, but without the pre rendered camera angles and the sort of person shooter. So Dead Rising is like the Yakuza version of fucking Resident Evil. Yeah. Whereas like Yakuza is like. Uh, a less serious fucking Shen move. And, and, and again, the Re Dead Rising also managed to like basically get away with being a survival horror game because of the because of the aspect of the mall thing. This this aspect stopped taking itself seriously like after the second entry. So because finally I'm surviving this room to... and I'm gonna kill myself just because I said that. And you're almost dead. I live. Anyway, yeah. I do think, uh... Oh, this is already off know, to I, a great I start. Dead Rising. I feel like there's... To be honest with you, though, I'm not a big fan of Dead Rising. I could have like, gotten, like, three games, uh... Or whatever yeah. on... Yeah, PSN that's fair. I got a D rank. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, I could have gotten three games I... on... Okay. We, are, Sorry, we all need sure. to chill. Not your fault. <laughs> is we all yeah. need to chill on talking over each other all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 